No matter if you're secular or religious, the Catholic Church in Qingdao is a must visit. And it's easy to find too. No matter in what direction you're walking in the Old Town, you can always spot the Twin Tower. The Twin Tower of the one and only Catholic Church has become the second of the city since it was finished in 1934. At the sacred place and shelter for the believers, for over a half century, the church magnifies tourists to come and admire this grand example of Roman architecture style in China. The neighborhood around the church has been remerged into a slightly more bohemian and artistic area. Nearby galleries and coffee shops are perfect places to rest your tired feet after a stroll around here. It's also a good place to spot modern-day Qingdao faces, as well as sense a real beat of the present city life. Normally, I'm not a fan of skyscrapers or squares, but in the new town of Qingdao, the squares is a very sociable place. I'd love to just hang out here a bit longer. Covering an area of more than 100,000 square meters, Wuzi Square is a popular gathering place in New Town. The youth, the energy, the happiness you feel here is contagious. Music Square is the biggest square in Qingdao and the biggest musical square in China. During the summer, many outdoor concerts and events are held here and even being a tourist yourself, you can play your own melody over here. Not a finger technique. <laughs> there are many reasons for outsiders to get smitten of the city. Qingdao must have some of the best city planners in the country. It's clear that the city is trying to convey the idea of living with art. And this sculpture garden in east part of the new town is a perfect example. When you are in need of the easy laughter and joy, step into the Dolphin Park, close to the sculpture garden. <laughs> This dolphin park was built in 1995, was the first one in China, and still the best.
Aquarium whenever I have chance. I know it's childish, I know it's juvenile, but it's an Anderson's world, it's a marmot's world, I never grew out of it. See, envious. To cater for the growing influx of visitors, many new hotels build outdoor dining space with sea view. In such a beautiful setting, anything looks like delicacy. Forget the shark's fin or oysters, Qingdao's local favorite are this, razor clam, garlic and shrimp. Wow! Lovely watermelon to start with. Bad news. My local friend just stood me up, but in such a lively place, I'm not afraid of eating alone, right? Just been look at this. I can enjoy it all by myself, even better. The night of Qingdao feels very slow and serene, but I found out one party. It's on the other side of town. I think on the brighter side, I can see the night view of Qingda. Let's go then. Qingda's limited nightlife creates unlimited chances for mingling. Swanky cocktail fans and proletarian beer drinkers find themselves sharing the same space, same taste of music, and equally much fun. inches away to take another boat ride to another direction, mountain Laoshan, but afraid it's gonna be just another mountain with another temple. I decided to do something more Qingdaoish. Let us go with a group of friends, go fishing and sailing to the sea. It's a foggy day today, but hopefully it's gonna be sunny later. A scattering of some 20 islands around Qingdao Harbor is becoming favorite destination for local Qingdao people, especially those young and restless often escape the city to this quiet silence willingly. They also like to claim they are driven out by the tourists, and the secret has been closed now. More and more islands become accessible to the visitors as well. Uh, oh, I didn't know fishing is so cool, it's almost like Oh, 
This is our lunch, so can't disappoint everybody. Although other fishing enthusiasts wouldn't be surprised by our booty, but I was still impressed how fast I get mine. Another five minutes, okay? Thirst and hunger are pleasant side effects of the tour. This is not a concentration camp. We got even in a little remote island, we got everything ready. Look at that. Yummy! Generalization about people according to geography have some truth in it. In Qingdao, you will find them Qingdao people are very open-minded, just like any people living by the sea, and they are really straightforward, like any northern Chinese, and they're really warm-hearted, just like the scorching summer. to Qingdao, but every time it's difficult to say goodbye. But it's always very comforting to know that even the whole world fails me, Qingdao is always here and with me to return. To me, Qingdao is summer. This is Travelog. I'm Yanling. Bye-bye.